When an employee violates a company policy, it's important that you document the offense and take the appropriate corrective action according to your company's rules and guidelines. Now, enforcing these policies fairly across the board is one of the best ways to mitigate risk and protect your business. I'm Sky Schooley, a staff writer with business.com. And in this video today, we'll be going over how to use the Bambi platform to begin a corrective action. Let's dive in. When you're on the Bambi platform, you can navigate to the staff tab on the left rail and then open any employee profile. In this demo, we will be using Tina Smith's profile to perform a corrective action. Okay, so this is Tina's employee profile. As an admin or her manager, you can see a variety of information on this page, such as what to do's the employee needs to complete, a folder with what documents they have access to, a place for notes about the employee that maybe might not be big enough yet for corrective action. For example, maybe they were 10 minutes late. You can also view their profile with general employee information and a settings tab to manage their role. I do want to note that the employee will only be able to see these first two tabs, their to do's and folder. These other three tabs are for managers and above. Down here, you will see a begin corrective action button and begin resignation termination button. For this demo, we are going to pretend Tina was two hours late today. And as Tina's manager, we can begin a corrective action for her. When beginning a corrective action, we can select from a group of standard actions such as verbal warning, written warning, final warning, and performance improvement plan. As Tina's manager, we will use our best judgment to subjectively choose the action that we believe best matches the offense. In this case, we will go with a written warning. From this page, you'll be prompted with a standard written warning workflow where you will give some information about the event, any documentation you may have, and then list what this employee needs to do to be considered improved. One of the things that we like best about Bambi was that they can help with the risk mitigation, and this is just one example of that. So these corrective action requests can actually be submitted right to your designated Bambi HR manager for qualification and production. The Bambi HR manager will first determine if this really is a write-up level event because you don't want to generate liability with any HR action. Your HR manager can help ensure that the rules are enforced in a standard fashion. So in this case, Let's say our Bambi HR manager deems Tina's actions write-up level event. Then the Bambi HR manager would produce the write-up and submit it back to the employee's manager who requested it. So in that case, that's us. Then we would review it and ask for any edits we might want. And we could even ask the Bambi HR manager for coaching if needed. Once it's been approved by all sides, we can execute and send it off to the employee in question, AKA Tina. That's it. So that was just a quick peek at how simple it is to submit a corrective action with the Bambi platform. Documentation is always a good idea to protect your business, so no action is too small to submit. Bambi will be there to help you stay compliant and mitigate risk along the way. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And for more business-related content, subscribe to our channel.